Um, outer Space Treaty in its preamble refers to the use of outer space for peaceful purposes. Uh -huh. uh, Article 4 of the Outer Space Treaty goes on to talk about the use of the moon and other celestial bodies exclusively for peaceful purposes. Now, it's important that the first one is a very general reference to peaceful purposes. Yep. So that includes not just the moon and other celestial bodies, but it includes void Satellites space. or anything. Yeah, right. yeah exactly. Anything. But it's in the preamble. And the preamble is not a substantive part of the treaty. So it's not legally binding. It's just an explanatory note okay. at the beginning of the treaty that says this is what the treaty is about. So, so this says this is what the treaty is about, but it's not binding. And so it then pops up for the moon. Is that the only place for the, it pops for up? For the moon and other celestial bodies. So, okay. so not just the moon, any celestial body yep. must be ex used for exclusively peaceful purposes. Okay. Um, so that provides seems like it provides more certainty but then it begs the question what is p peaceful purpose yes and and um there's a sort of rhetorical question if, if you can tell me how to achieve world peace yeah, yeah. then i can tell you <laughs> what peaceful purposes means. <laughs> yeah as i was say th this part is not the hard part right this is the really tricky loaded word right here right 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 interesting okay yeah. Yes. So the debate is, uh, for example, um, Russia or the Soviet Union previously has said, well, peaceful purposes means non-military purposes. OK. The United States disagrees with that and says, well, no, we don't we don't think it means non-military purposes. And in fact, we point out that Russia, like every spacefaring nation, has used space yep. for military purposes yes. for some time. Um, we say that peaceful purposes in this context means no aggressive use of outer space. Right. Which is quite different. Very different in terms <laughs> of terms of what you're doing. And again, especially when it comes to the moon, as we're going to explore later in this course, mm. you know, with all of the activity on the moon, the fact that this is not agreed upon by a few of the biggest spacefaring nations is quite important. Quite significant. Yes. Very, very significant. Yeah. Um, so Article 4 of the Outer Space Treaty goes on in more detail, though, and it says you can't place in orbit around the Earth nuclear weapons or any other kinds of weapons of mass destruction, okay. and you can't put them on celestial bodies or station such weapons in outer space in any other manner. Now, this part of it, it's important to note what it doesn't say. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't refer to conventional weapons. Yes, that's right. Um, it also refers to the placement of uh, weapons of mass destruction in orbit. So uh, it doesn't uh, refer to the transit yes. of these things through outer space. Yes. So you're saying that you can't park it in space and use it as a weapon, but if we happen to go through space on the way to you, that's okay. That's okay. And, and of course, when the Soviet Union and the United, United States were negotiating the Outer Space Treaty, they weren't about to exclude the yes. possibility of <laughs> nuclear tipped ballistic missiles going through. That's right. Space. But I guess it is important, right? Because this is 67 that the Outer Space Treaty was for. You know, this is height of the Cold War. So they at least are taking the step of saying you shouldn't put it in space, at least. I mean, right. I, I do feel that's at least in 1967 world some sort of sensible yes progress yes, yes so so in fact um a lot of people see the outer space treaty as a disarmament treaty yeah yeah rather than specifically about space it, yeah it's, it's part of a you know a, a series of disarmament measures mm. i mean you know again this is two years before landing on the moon and they're saying no we're not actually going to put weapons permanently in space i feel that's yeah that's a pretty big step in 1967. It is, it is. And, and then Article 4 goes on to say, you can't establish military bases, installations and fortifications, the testing of any types of weapons, the conduct of military okay. manoeuvres on celestial bodies shall be forbidden. So I think you yeah. said you were going to talk more about uses of the moon yes. later. We are. We're talking about there's a huge rush going to the moon, um, you know, and why. So this is quite interesting because we're going to see how many countries want to go to the moon and all their plans. And so this is saying it can't be military. Right. 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 So but then it begs a question. Uh, what about dual use? Yes. things? So, you know, if, if you're 
If your base happens to do a lot of communications for military purposes as well, <laughs> uh, as, as, as well as for peaceful purposes, yes. does, does that mean it's prohibited? And, and, and this, is, this is, again, this is a whole other thing we talk about communications later in this course about how, yeah, even Earth observation satellites, communication satellites, all these things are already dual use. Mm. Like we're already kind of getting into that world. So the yes. fact that this is here is going to make it kind of tricky, it feels. It, it will be tricky. It will be tricky. And, and Article 4 actually says that military personnel being used for scientific research or any other peaceful purposes is fine. Yeah, and that's common practice. There's a lot of ex-military who go in the space programs. Okay. Right. And, and the use of military equipment and facility necessary for peaceful exploration is also fine. But what's necessary here? Right. Good, <laughs> good question. Well, I don't know. I, did, I just feel like I have to nitpick every word here. It's, inter you're right. it's interesting what it says and what it doesn't say at the same time. Yes, yes. So there are a lot of issues still to be resolved, and I don't have all the answers, <laughs> but we can point out where the difficulties are. That's right. Right.